Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Arch Linux B Deeping. We have now 11 Arch Linux B ISOs to try out. So it's, um, I think it's this little button down here. That's the Deeping um, desktop. And we can, of course, use the Arch Linux D version, Deeping, as a small ISO, or you can say, let's build it yourself. So the idea is that we give you the power to build your own ISO. That's super, right? It means you have the possibility to change anything, really. If you want too many, if there are, there are three browser, browsers on there. So if you don't like Firefox, get rid of Firefox. Don't like Vivaldi, get rid of it. Or you want a new browser, put it on. You want Steam and OBS on the ISO and so on. We give you full control. You have Arc Linux ISO. And on top of that, you change the packages that are in there. If you want LibreOffice back in there, it's just one hashtag away and you have it. I will do it together. So how does this work then? Well, you go to, you choose actually what you want to do. So this is our vision. If you don't want to change anything, I want to build Arch Linux as is in the sense of Openbox, i3 and XFCE like we put it on SourceForge, then this is your article. If you say, I want to have it all, all that, but change the applications. So Arch Linux, but without this and with extra that and so on, then we are explaining this here in this video. But then at some point in time, you'll just choose maybe a desktop and say, I just want awesome, or I just want PSP, WM and so on. So in this case, we're going to choose for deeping and say, okay, in basis of Arco Linux, we're going to put there this deeping and we build it ourselves, so it's Arco Linux B. So this is what I'm gonna do. It only takes four lines of code and the rest is just tested. When it's finished, test the ISO on VirtualBox, see if you like it and um, try it out. So the idea is as follows. You, whatever system you're on, I'm currently on Plasma, doesn't matter where you are, you go to your desktop and then you're going to copy paste a code in your terminal. So I'm going to take open terminal here. So, so if you see me do it, I'm going to take this one, control C, move it out of the way, control shift V. That's it. Almost there. One down. So Arco deeping. Let's put this one in the corner. And we have here the installation scripts. This is just rubbish, not, not interesting for the build. And this installation script we'll see later, but this one is the one you should take a look at first. So what if you say, um, of course, don't touch, be, be wise about it, be prudent about it. These guys stay off the first line here, this block, stay off this block. But even even further on, stay out of all these guys. When is it interesting for you? Software from Arch repos. You don't like Atom, you don't want Catfish, you don't want Chromium. So let's get rid of Chromium. Okay, no Chromium anymore for you. Um, Firefox, let's keep it in. There is no Genie anymore, Genie is gone. And Inks, LibreOffice, I want LibreOffice. LibreOffice back in. And that's how you do it, um, like OBS Studio. Let's keep it alphabetically. So OBS Studio is in now, etc. So you just find your applications you like and love, put them in there, zoom is in, zoom is out. You decide it's just one hashtag away. I think this is enough as an example. So you edit the packages uh, file here done that you go inside here right mouse click we make sure that we are in the terminal put that one over here and then all we need to do is what they say they promise here is what you need to do is change if you want to right done that Sc run script 30 three times yes okay that's quite technical that means i have to type 30 and that password First yes, second yes, and another yes. That was it. Now we can walk away or enjoy all this uh, C matrix look. 
and then we'll have an ISO at the end. I'm going to pause the video here and, um, and wait for it to finish. All right, back. Just on pausing for a bit. So we are um, installing 1081 packages plus the other ones on top. I think it's around 1200, I know. So we can always scroll back in our terminal to see what's going to happen or what has happened, what is downloaded and all that. And if we press on space, Okay, sorry that was pausing my video, it was still active that window. So if you scroll up and round down, if you now press on spacebar, you're always um, going back to the end. So there's no problem. Here's LibreOffice that's going to be installed, OBS Studio, so also that one. Of course, um, what's important is that you type it correctly in the sense that um, it can happen that you make typos in the packages. If you type OBS Studio with a Z, of course you'll get an error and that you'll soon, well, the penny will drop and you say, oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, writing the capital letters and all that, so the correct writing is important. Pausing again here. Phase four has been started and we're pausing again. All right, we have a new ISO of 2.4 gigabyte, it says here down here. And it's, uh, well, the question, where is the output? The output is in the home, control H back. And in Arch Linux B build, so if you build something, we get a new folder called Arch Linux B build. And it's in the Arch ISO, in the out, you get a nice ISO. Now, the thing you need to do next is, in my case, Super F7, which is VirtualBox. I have a template ready, so I'm going to clone it. I'm going to give it a name. Arch Linux B, Dipin, and full clone. Done that. That's very fast to work, to make some kind of template. And the disk image, again, is in the home. And it's in Arch Linux B built in the Arch ISO in the out. There is this one that we've just built today. So the date and uh, hour is important if you start building more and more. So Control F is going to maximize it, and we're going to boot in VirtualBox our just newly created. ISO. Now remember Arch Linux B is built on Arch Linux, right? We're a small team. There is no possible way we can make all these uh, desktops we create and show them in the live DVD. So we're not gonna do that to spare time. We're using the Arch Linux ISO, which is a bare minimum XFCE. Blank is there, yes. But basically you don't see deeping here. Deeping is only you can only see it when you install it. So that's the idea. So that will, in maintainability, that will be a huge thing. Just maintain Arch Linux. And then build the B on it. You know this drill, and you know, I know that you know, so right, there we go. So basically we're going to format everything, get rid of any, anything that's on there, which is nothing because it's a template in VirtualBox. And let's wait for the installation. Okay, and we're off again. So all done, restart now. Actually an awesome wallpaper. So don't restart now, done. <laughs> all we need to do is go view desktop or CO. And then, well, Vivaldi for instance. And then what I'll do, yeah, continue my friend, continue, continue, continue. This in the end here, that's the number of the wallpaper. So what I'll do on my own system, on my plasma system, I'll do just the same. I'll also go to variety and I'm going to copy the number back there. So you see this number, you type it in and then you have also and a possibility to, well, to bookmark this uh, uh, 
this wallpaper on your own desktop. So that's the idea. Quickly done. So view at desktop.co. Let's see if I can show you that. There we go. So we have this is my proper system here. So 348029 is a beautiful wallpaper I would like. So I tell him to put it in my cloud and it's already there. So it's white. But if it isn't, it's more like this. So it's already done. I already liked it and I have it already on my Dropbox, which is good. So this is nice. That's variety for you. But we're still live. So restart. Restart. And let's see what we've installed on our system. And if you like it, you install it on your SSD. Now, the starting reboot may uh, take a while. Is it virtual box? Is it uh, the kernel? So if you don't want to wait like me, just kill the thing with power off. Oops, that's the other one. So, OK, kill it and you'll see. There is no problem on uh, hard disk or SSD or anything like it. It's a virtual box thingy that will be fixed in a few days, weeks. And let's explore it. So, if um, it's a good thing to include this as well in the video, this is a small screen, right? But everything is installed. VirtualBox should kick in. So, if it is not, we'll help him. So, system has detected they're using a machine. Effect mode is a shadow and effects in the windows and this is common mode without any effects. So I really like the effects and it does work on our system so I'm using it, using it. As you can see resolution just changed so don't need to explain anything but I'll say my tip anyway. So if there is a problem and everything stays small the best tip ever is to log out again and let LightDM realize oh i have more screen as you see it's fixed now and log back in that's the only thing you need to do no virtual box drivers and modules to install everything is okay just log out log in set so um <laughs> what did we do obs studio that's something we did i guess no i don't know what we did in this video i made a few out but yeah, after one another so a few trials to make the video. So LibreOffice, that I remember that we've done that. Firefox, I think we deleted Firefox. Nope. <laughs> Was it Vivaldi? Nope. Was it Chromium? Chromium is not installed. So I guess we deleted Chromium. So better thing is of course to go and check Eric in your folder what you did. So the Arch ISO, oh, not here and the desktop we have these packages and here i changed some stuff around don't really recall i thought i had obs studio but maybe there it is obs studio is should be in there but it's called how is it called obs mm -hmm. maybe you see it already i don't ah here it is <laughs> sorry so yeah, OBS is working, okay, okay, license agreement, blah, blah, blah. No, we're not gonna install everything. <laughs> there is a tutorial, by the way, if you want to go and make videos about Arch Linux with OBS Studio, it's possible, it's all explained, all the settings are explained. So when I do it from time to time, I'll check my own settings again, what were the best settings for me. But um, there you go, we have a personalized Arch Linux B, Deeping, and now it's up to you to have fun. And there is a lot of fun, it really is a lot of fun. Um, this is a system tray, maybe something interesting to see already. So we have here the wallpaper selector. Hopla, and there we go, close again. So we have lots of stuff to check out, and that's for the next video. All right, cheers.